Welcome to CTC News, where I will be taking you through some of the latest, greatest, and not so greatest news around the end of Manchester United. So let's get into the first story. Women's football has currently been on their end of October international break. But before the hiatus in club football, we got back to winning ways with an emphatic 5-0 victory against Everton in the Women's Super League. Melvi Millard opened the scoring, with Nikita Paris and Rachel Williams both scoring second-half braces to take United up to fourth in the Women's Super League. Their next fixture will be up against Brighton and Hove Albion on Sunday, who have lost three of their first four league games under manager Melissa Phillips, who was appointed in April this year. Some good news for Manchester United fans. Ama Diallo has been seen on the training fields, still working his way back from a knee injury sustained on Manchester United's tour of the USA this summer. With Eric Ten Hag's attackers struggling to produce in all competitions, will Ama Diallo be welcome competition for our out-of-form, non-goal scoring threats? Former Manchester United player and captain Roy Keane suggested on Sky Sports that he would immediately take the captaincy of Bruno Fernandes after Manchester United's defeat against Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. The Portuguese international replaced Harry Maguire full-time in the summer after a relatively successful period with him standing in during the 22-23 campaign. However, under his leadership so far this season, the Red Devils have broken all the wrong records and seem to be moving in a backward force. Would you ruthlessly replace Bruno as captain, or are his comments, Roy Keane's comments that is, unwarranted? Let us all know in the comments section. But for now, that concludes the latest episode, the latest iteration of CTC News. Tell me what you thought about everything that was reported in the comments section below. Enjoy today. Chase the chaos.